Master Dolan did a song of, uh, from Roslyn. It's just Roslyn. Who's um, his friend? Uh, Mars. Somehow, uh, for another of ours, always seems to run into each other. And, um, it was interesting because I kind of put tune to while well, I talk. So I can do it. Um, anyway, we lived in Atlantia for a while. And there were uh, a couple of guys that used to sing this song all the time. Bryce and Neil. Anybody know Bryce and Neil? They used to do that song all the time in the perfect two part harmony all the way And I asked them, I think the word's written off them there, didn't I? Is this song about the battle? Oh, okay. You gotta pull that one. Right off Yeah, yeah, it is. And, um, oh, yeah. The chorus There's a CD player. Speaking of the chorus, they probably listen to it. For our hands shall be the harder, and our will shall be the wider. Our hearts shall be bolder, and their strength must end. Come and follow me to glory, so that when they tell the story, we shall not be forgotten in the halls so of remains. Can anybody make me two people from the past of Malden? Is this not a hall of man? Uh, clearly, they will be forgotten in the hall of man. Um, I, I went to, I, I had a totally different perspective. The only reason I knew about this battle is that I was living in England in 990, what was it, 990? 990, yes, 990. 992, 992. So my night dragged me off to Blackwater Bay in uh, England for the re- uh, the 1,000th anniversary of the Battle of Malden is a reenactment of the thing. Uh, obviously, they had to uh, do a smaller scale. Um, and so, anyway, the, the moral of the story is we watched this, and, and, and it's, it's kind of interesting how they do this in England. They have people, they have an announcer, two announcers on the loudspeaker to kind of do the voices of the commanders on the field. And it's kind of like play-by-play play of what's going on while the guys are fighting on the field. But that is, is that fading back? <laughs> like oh my gosh! A long pass. Do, do you see what I see, Gail? Why, yes. <laughs> what, what basically happened, in a nutshell, was that there was this causeway, and Vikings, as they would, like to come over the water. So they park their ship and they, there's this like ship, 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 yes. And there's a causeway there, and so so it's a limited thing. They can, they can only send a few men at a time. And the, and the English guys have archers, and they're throwing spears and everything else. They're outnumbered, sure, but as long as they can keep throwing things across the bay, across the water, and uh, not let the Vikings pass. That's that's awesome, right? That's that's great for us, right? Wrong. Apparently, this was a testosterone challenge for the for the uh, commander of the Saxon side. He said, "Oh, this is not manly enough. Let them cross." So they came out. They were they ended up at that point being outnumbered about a hundred to one. And then about three quarters of the Saxons said, "Oh hell no!" and turned around and left. And, uh, and I figured, look, there's got to be, we, we think in our society here, when we're playing on the field, that it's, you know, it's so simple to say, yes, I'm going to charge that thing and I'm going to die, and then I'm going to get up and come to the dragon and have beer. Couldn't so like, <laughs> really do that in 1992. Um, so, and there were also, as my old friend Eddie points out, there were no Windows and Orphans Fund uh, at the time. So there had to be a point where the huge loyalists Saxons would turn around and go, oh my god, now it's now it's a thousand to one, not just a hundred to one anymore. And somebody had to go, okay, what do I, I gotta make a decision right now. And I know we're the honorable guy and I made it, but you know, our commander made a stupid decision. He's dead already. So I'm going with that. My family will survive that way. And yeah, people may think that it was a bad decision, but at least my family will survive. So I figured it's just not black and white. And when I heard her song, it was like, wow, my song is exactly the opposite about 